name is Zoe, I'm the Tipsy Psychic, and today I'm going to talk about the compatibility between an Aquarius Pisces cusp and a Gemini Cancer cusp. If you were born sometime between February 16th and February 22nd, then you are born on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. If you were born anytime around between June 19th to June 24th, then you are born on the cusp of magic, the cusp of Gemini and Cancer. What a powerful combination. Oh, wow. You need to focus your efforts on where things are going. Make sure that you're on the right track. It may be easy to be friends with the Gemini Cancer cusp, but there may be a lot more to your relationship than you realize, and that's something you might want to explore. You're not used to the power that comes from being with each other. You both are used to being underestimated and have a very submissive side. But as a couple, most of that vulnerability is replaced by powerful energy. Make sure you're on the right path. A Gemini Cancer cusp would understand you. And when you're with each other, it's like you're different people altogether. And your friends and family may be really surprised by how much you change when you're together. You exude this newfound confidence and security. Focus on harnessing your chemistry and make the most of that emotional connection that you feel. You need to absorb as much of it as you can. At times, you may be worried about whether the Gemini Cancer cusp is too shallow for you. When you were on your own before you met your Gemini Cancer cusp, it was a lot harder for you to make up your mind, come to terms with a decision. But when you're together, you're so much more of a go-getter and you don't let your doubt take over. You need to understand that your relationship doesn't need to be fiery and intense. Sometimes just being sentimental and devoted is even more powerful than a spark that you both ignite. So don't forget about the romance and stop focusing on keeping things wild and exciting. Start focusing on showing your love for each other and appreciation every single day. Your love for each other will not survive on desire and lust alone. You might need a more gentle and warm approach. They like how pensive you are. They like the way your mind works. They'll like how you like to ask questions. And they're very attracted to it. Career becomes a priority for you both when you're together. You'll feel more driven. You both have the tendency to take control and you might butt heads over who wears the pants. When you're having a rough day, you might need someone to talk to. Your Gemini Cancer cusp may not understand fully your need to vent. They'll try to offer you solutions when you really just need them to listen. And this is a big thing for you in relationships, so that might be very frustrating. Before you met your Gemini Cancer cusp, you weren't very forward about your feelings. It was hard to really define what was going on in your heart, but when you're with them, you might feel flooded with feeling. Aquarius Pisces cusp plus Gemini Cancer cusp equals a powerful boost of energy. If you do not build trust and feel like you can count on each other, then your disagreements can become hostile. Gemini Cancer Cusps really appreciate your preferences when it comes to trying new things and your style. A Gemini Cancer Cusp is a fantastic match. But when things aren't going well for you, then sex can be used as a weapon. It can be used to sabotage what you have with each other. And it's often the reason why your relationship ends all together. Gemini Cancer cusps may not take the time to fully hear you out, you know? They will automatically jump to conclusions, you know? They'll try to fix a situation before they fully understand it. Your chemistry becomes more and more powerful over time. And that can be a very, very positive thing, but it can also be a very, very negative thing. So be careful with how you direct all your energy. Sex can become a very powerful weapon that you use against each other. Sometimes when things are going really bad, 
You might threaten to cut each other off. Like, no sex for you, sorry, you're not getting any. You can withhold sex to get what you want when you feel like you're losing control. It's hard for you to show consideration for them when you're fighting over power. And you can use your passion against each other. So if you feel like things are falling apart with your Gemini Cancer cusp, or you feel like they're not supporting you, or you feel like they're not looking at you, you need to recognize what is going on. Use sex and passion as a tool, not a weapon. Gemini Cancer cusps really like that you don't need anyone to be happy. You're your own person, and you don't rely on other people to take care of things. They like how much of an individual you are. You accumulate so much passionate energy when you're with each other, and you need to find a way to focus it on the world around you and not on each other. Because if you're directing it towards each other, then you won't be able to handle it. You see, the energy is the thing. It's not just gonna disappear. And if you're directing it towards each other, then it's just gonna eat away at you both. So you really need to direct it into something else. Focus on romance and empathy and all the love that you're feeling towards each other and use that energy on other things. The last thing you wanna do is fight over all that energy. A Gemini Cancer cusp will love your eccentricity. They like your unconventional approach to life. They're very good at getting things done and being productive when you're in a long-term relationship. You need to work on being more compassionate with your Gemini Cancer cusps if you want things to stand a chance. Gemini Cancer Cusp would like playing house with you. Living with them would definitely make them very happy, and it wouldn't be such a bad thing. Marriages are usually very strong between the two of you, and you have so much stamina. It really helps when you're trying to take care of things and be a team. But if you can't chill out with each other, then you probably won't work out very well. They can be very emotional, and they will have more mood swings than you, most likely. They don't like to leave people hanging. And when they commit to doing something together, they do their best to finish it. It may not seem like they're super serious about things all the time, but they will stop at nothing to finish a project. And if they do something with you, it has to be done well. They won't just do things half-ass, okay? So everything that they do in their marriage is going to be well done. They won't let things be unfinished. They tackle things very easily. Other couples learn so much from your relationship. You inspire the people around you. Even if you end up getting a divorce one day, not saying it's gonna happen, but if you do, all those people that you inspired as a couple, they're still gonna be inspired. That's not gonna go away. That positive impact on the lives of your loved ones and the people you meet as a couple will remain because what you have together, you will never have by yourself. And this energy, your energy that you share may not be something that you can really place. It's something that you share within yourselves. It may not be something you really feel or exhibit in any way, but it is there one way or another. Whether that's a psychic connection, or maybe it's a mental thing. But one thing is for sure, it is miraculous. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you were born on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces or you are a Gemini Cancer cusp, please comment below and let me know what you think of my video. Subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.